As an operating department practitioner, you play a crucial role in patient safety. Every day you are entrusted with the well-being of patients who are about to undergo surgery and your actions can make all the difference in their outcomes. One of your most important responsibilities is to ensure that the anaesthetic machine is ready and safe to use. This task may seem routine, but it is absolutely vital. You are responsible for ensuring that the anaesthetic machine is functioning perfectly before every procedure. This means checking every component from the oxygen supply to the vaporizers and making sure that all alarms and safety features are working as intended. Even a small oversight can have significant consequences, so attention to detail is essential. The process involves a systematic approach, verifying gas supplies, inspecting breathing circuits for leaks, confirming the integrity of connections and testing the ventilator. Each step is designed to catch potential issues before they can affect the patient. Why is this so important? Because the anaesthetic machine is literally responsible for keeping patients alive during surgery. It's the lifeline that delivers a precise mixture of oxygen and anaesthetic gases, ensuring the patient remains unconscious, pain-free and stable throughout the operation. It delivers the oxygen and anaesthetic gases that keep them asleep and pain-free. Without a properly functioning machine, the patient could wake up during surgery, experience pain or even suffer from a lack of oxygen, which can lead to life-threatening complications. The anaesthetic machine is a complex piece of equipment with many interconnected parts. If any part fails, whether it's a blocked filter, a disconnected hose or a malfunctioning alarm, the consequences can be severe. That's why vigilance and a methodical approach are so important. Any malfunction in this complex system can have serious consequences, potentially putting a patient's life at risk. It's not just about following a checklist. It's about understanding the significance of each step and being prepared to act quickly if something isn't right. That's why we carry out these meticulous checks every single time, to eliminate risks and ensure patient well-being. By working together, communicating clearly and never cutting corners, we uphold the highest standards of care. Remember, a thorough check is a life-saving act. Your diligence and commitment to safety are what make you an essential part of the surgical team and your attention to detail can truly save lives. Before we even think about gases, circuits or the complex technology inside the anaesthetic machine, we have to start with the most fundamental element, power. It might seem simple, but ensuring a reliable power source is the very first step in safeguarding patient safety. Without power, even the most advanced equipment is rendered useless and patient care can be compromised in an instant. The first thing you should always do is check that the anaesthetic machine is properly plugged in and switched on. This may sound like a no-brainer, but in the fast-paced environment of an operating theatre, it's surprisingly easy to overlook. A loose plug or an accidentally switched-off machine can delay procedures and even put patients at risk. Taking a few seconds to double-check the power connection can prevent unnecessary stress and ensure everything runs smoothly from the start. Next, focus on the battery backup. Locate the battery gauge and confirm that it's fully charged. The battery is your safety net in the event of a sudden power outage or if the main supply fails. Imagine being in the middle of a critical procedure and the lights go out. Your anaesthetic machine must keep running. That's why a fully charged battery isn't just a convenience, it's a necessity. Make it a habit to check the battery status at the start of every shift and recharge or replace batteries as needed. Finally, don't forget to test the alarms. These alarms are more than just noise. They are your early warning system designed to alert you to any issues with the machine, from power failures to system malfunctions. Make sure each alarm is functioning loud enough to be heard over the bustle of the operating room and that you know what each signal means. By taking these simple but crucial steps, checking the power, confirming the battery and testing the alarms, you lay the foundation for safe, effective anesthesia care every single time. Oxygen is essential for life and during surgery we take over the job of breathing for our patients. Begin by checking the oxygen supply. Is the cylinder connected properly? Is the pressure gauge reading within the safe zone? Next, check the oxygen flow rate. We need to make sure the patient is getting enough oxygen but not too much. Finally, look for any leaks in the system. A leak could mean the patient isn't getting enough oxygen which is a serious problem. 
The breathing circuit is the pathway for oxygen and anesthetic gases to reach the patient. The vaporizers are where we add the anesthetic gases to the mix. First, inspect the breathing circuit. Are there any cracks or tears? Is it connected securely to the machine and the patient's mask? Next, check the vaporizers. Are they filled with the correct anesthetic agent? Are they turned off? We don't want any accidental release of anesthetic gas. The ventilator is a crucial part of the anesthetic machine. It breathes for the patient while they are under anesthesia. Begin by checking the ventilator settings. Are the tidal volume and respiratory rate appropriate for the patient's age and size? Next, make sure the ventilator is functioning correctly. Activate the manual breath button and observe the chest rise. This confirms that the ventilator is delivering breaths effectively. Anesthetic machines are equipped with an array of monitors to track vital signs like heart rate, blood pressure and oxygen saturation. Make sure all the monitors are connected and functioning properly. Check the readings to ensure they fall within the normal range for the patient. Now that we've carefully checked each component of the anesthetic machine individually, it's time to bring everything together for a final comprehensive assessment. This is the moment where your attention to detail and your professional judgment truly come into play. The final check is not just a routine step, it's your last opportunity to catch anything that might have been missed and to ensure that every part of the machine is functioning exactly as it should. Take a deliberate step back and look at the entire machine as a whole. This wide perspective allows you to spot anything that might seem out of place, such as disconnected cables, misplaced components, or even subtle signs of wear and tear that could compromise safety. Listen closely to the sounds the machine is making. Are the usual hums and clicks present, or do you notice anything unusual? Watch the gauges and displays. Are all readings within the expected ranges? Sometimes, it's the smallest detail that can alert you to a potential problem. Use all your senses. Are there any strange smells, such as the scent of gas or burning? Do you hear any hissing, popping, or irregular noises? Trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. Your experience and intuition are invaluable tools in this process. If you notice anything unusual, no matter how minor it may seem, pause and investigate further. Consult with a colleague if you're unsure. It's always better to double-check than to overlook a potential issue. Remember, patient safety is always the top priority. Once you are satisfied that everything is in perfect working order, complete the anesthetic machine checklist thoroughly. This checklist is not just a formality, it's a critical record that confirms every safety step has been followed. Sign it with confidence, knowing you've done your due diligence. Your signature is more than just a name on a page. It is your personal guarantee that the machine is safe to use and that you stand by the quality and thoroughness of your checks. This accountability is a cornerstone of patient safety. Remember, as an operating department practitioner, you are entrusted with the immense responsibility of patient safety during surgery. The patient, their family, and your entire surgical team rely on your expertise and vigilance. Your meticulous checks, your attention to detail, and your unwavering commitment to following procedures are absolutely paramount. Every step you take, Every protocol you follow is a vital part of a much larger safety net that protects the patient. Every check you perform, every detail you scrutinize contributes directly to a successful surgery and a safe recovery for the patient. Never cut corners, never assume that someone else has already checked, always be vigilant and always take pride in the crucial role you play. The life you save could be someone's world. Your dedication, professionalism and care make all the difference. Today and every day you step into the operating theater.